Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, well, sorry it's another, not another super power training simulator video, but in this video I'm just going to be showing you how um, it, how to create new instances with a script or just how it works in general. So let's get started. So you might have seen this in other videos that I've made, how I create leader stats and such. So let me just give you an example. So let's insert a script and service script service. Now, when I say ins a new instance, here, let me just type this. So pretty much, I'm making a variable called part, and I'm name and I'm creating a new instance, which is the same thing as going to like let's say workspace and pressing on that plus right beside it and inserting a new object, and then. Here you can set whatever object you'd like. So let's say you want a billboard UI. You can put that. Let's say you want a number value, a part, a screen GUI. You can put literally anything. Okay, anything you can put or anything you can find when you press the plus on a section and can search for, you can insert here. Now the next part after the comma, this is the parent. So this is pretty much the same as doing part dot parent equals game dot workspace. It's just a more organized way you could say. So pretty much that's just the parent or where the part or whatever you're creating goes. Now whatever we're doing has the same properties. So let's insert a part, and if we select in a part, we can see all of these properties on the side. We can customize all of these with the script by calling the variable that makes the new instance, and let's do brick color equals um iron brick color dot new new yellow so this is the same thing as going with properties and then selecting new yellow as a color for a brick color now let's say we can do part dot transparency equals 0 0.5 it's the same thing as going to our properties going to transparency typing 0 0.5 you can customize any any sort of um, property that you would find in the properties tab inside of a script. So let's say let's make a UI with a script. So let's say local screen GUI equals instance dot new screen GUI game dot play or game dot player dot player or let's just print this to starter GUI. Screen GUI dot name equals main. And then let's make a frame. So local frame equals instance dot new frame. Screen GUI frame dot. Let's say background color three equals color three dot from RGB. Get some red color. Do frame dot name equals special uh, frame. So this is literally the same as like pressing the plus on starter GUI, inserting a screen GUI, renaming that screen GUI to main, pressing the plus on the screen GUI, inserting a frame, renaming it to special frame, and then changing its background color to red. It's the exact same thing as doing this except it's inside of a script which can be very convenient for multiple scenarios so let's say I want to make the frame dot background tra transparency to 0.5 so let's just test out this script I might have to put this in a player and event but let's just see what happens yeah, I have to put this in a player added event. Just give me one moment. Now, if you don't know what a player added event is, pretty much when a player is added to the game or when they join the game. Alright, so let's just give this a quick test. And you'll see. Wait, I might have done something wrong. Well, I'll check out the script. Screen UI dot name is a new screen 
and you are yeah it's looking good I think I just gotta add this in a different way here let's just try this and a player a player a player GY Okay, no, I'm just gonna do script up parent I guess. So this might just put it inside of third of GUI and not actually inside of a player. Oh, it is not running for some odd reason. Sorry for this little error. This is just Roblox being annoying and it, me being dumb at the same time. Okay, then. Just gonna make a loop then. Chances are that this was gonna crash my studio. But hopefully this kind of gives you a brief explanation on how a new instance works. For some reason this isn't deciding to work. Which is pretty annoying. But that's just how you it's the same way you can make leader stats. If you just get one of the players added. Make a folder. Let me just make a quick example real quick. So, this is the same as inserting a folder inside of the player, renaming that folder to leader stats, and then we're putting a number value inside. So, you can put the name of the variable as the parent, and it'll put it inside of whatever instance you created for, for that variable. And then, of course, you can just set as values. Now, if we quickly launch the game, as you can see, we have cache. And if we go into our player, we have leader stats. And we have a cache number value inside of our leader stats folder. So, hopefully, this explained a bit on how new instances work. Sorry for my mistake earlier on the part or the UI. But, yep, hopefully, it helped. Bye.